Hey guys, it's Catherine with Nighttime Alternative and I'm here today with a new video. The year is halfway over. I can't believe 2019 is halfway over and I thought it would be fun to do a flip through of everything that I put into my 2019 memory keeper so far. So in this video, I'm going to be flipping through all of my spreads from January through June 2019. And then at the end of the year, I'll do a second video with July through December. So just to keep this video pretty short, I'm just going to kind of briefly talk about each spread. I'm not going to spend very long on each spread. And to be completely honest with you, I've used so many sticker kits and digital elements that I can't remember every single shop that I purchased from, but I will include a list in the video description of all of the shops that I purchased from this year. And you can just click on those links and it'll take you to their shops. There are so many cute digital planning shops out there for you to browse and you can have a lot of fun with that. So just make sure to check out that video description down below. So throughout all of this year, I've used the Truly Yours Planner. This is a planner that is in my Etsy shop it was designed specifically for people that like to get really creative with their layouts. And I just love this planner so much. I've created planners since this planner, um, and I use layouts from those planners sometimes, but this is just my favorite planner of all time. So I'll link to this in the video description as well. So this is just the cover, and then we're gonna go straight into January. And this was my January calendar. There's actually a plan with me video on this spread. So I will link to that in the video description as well. These stickers were from Print Petticoat Bandit. They're super cute. I love that shop so much. I've purchased several kits from them, but I really love how this monthly calendar turned out. This was the month that I turned 30. So this was a really big month for me. Um, I kind of freaked out a little bit about turning 30, uh, but I tried to have a positive outlook about it, and we just had a lot going on that month. So I had a lot to fill in my calendar that month. This was a page that I created for all of my favorite TV shows that were coming back in January. So I just used one of my letterboard stickers over here and put the premiere dates for each of these shows and then did a little collage over here. This was my first weekly spread and I can't remember where I purchased these stickers. There's actually a video on this spread as well, which I'll link to in the video description. I think I only did plan with me videos for two weekly spreads in January and then I had to put a stop to uploading a weekly plan with me video every single week. But the ones that I did do, in 2019, I'll link to in the video description, and it will have all of the information about these stickers as well. But this week, this is the only week I've really done anything like this, I kind of experimented with a more simple layout where I didn't include any pictures. I just put one event that happened each day, and then I created a page like this for every single day for that week. So that's what all of these pages are right here. And then here's the next week. This was the week that I turned 30 and I used a sticker kit from my own shop this week. Um, it's called Sitting Pretty and it's just filled again with pictures that I took that week and events that happened each day. And then I tracked the shows that my husband and I were watching at that time. This is a little page, like a journaling page that I created where I just wrote about turning 30 and my feelings about turning 30 and this was a lot of fun. This was a layout. This is actually the daily layout that comes with the Truly Yours Planner and it didn't really work for me. I tried to experiment with functional planning and memory keeping. I wanted to have everything in one planner and I tried it out for a week and it did not work for me. I have to have a completely separate planner for functional planning and I really have to keep my functional planner simple in order to not feel overwhelmed and stressed out. So this was the one week that I tried to consolidate the two and it didn't work. So I just kept this page here to remind myself that this does not work for me, but I did not come back to this page. This was another page that I did for that week where I just had a brain dump here and wrote down everything that I wanted to work on for Etsy, YouTube, and personal. And again, 
it didn't work. I have to keep it completely separate. So, so this was the week of the 14th through the 20th. This is a layout that is sold in my Etsy shop and it's made to fit the Truly Yours planner, but it doesn't come with the Truly Yours planner. This week I used stickers from Lux Book and then I just kind of matched and color coordinated those stickers with some sticky note stickers that I had and I divided those into work and personal and I really did like how this turned out. Um, it was a lot of fun to keep things separate. I haven't done a layout like this again where I separate and color code my work stuff and my personal stuff, but this is something that I probably will do again in the future. So this was the last full week of January and I can't remember where I got this sticker kit. I believe it was from Print Petticoat Bandit, but I could be wrong. Um, but like I said, I'm going to link to all the shops that I've purchased from this year in the video description. Um, and this is just the more traditional style of memory keeping that I like to do where I put pictures and I keep track of what my husband and I are watching. And sometimes I list out the things that I get done in a day or the things that happen in a day. And this kit was so cute that I did incorporate some of the stickers that are just really decorative, I incorporated those in my layouts as well because I didn't have a lot to fill in that week. And here is the very last week in the January section. So half the week we were still in January and then the other half we were in the first three days of February. Um, this kit, I believe, is by DPC Digitals. Um, so that's gonna be one of the shops linked in the video description. And I just really loved the daily headers that came with that kit. And then I color matched those stickers, all the flowers in those stickers. Um, I believe this sticker is from that kit. And then the rest of these are either Procreate stamps, it's my handwriting, and just pictures and elements that I incorporated. I created an in review page for both January and February. I don't think I've done it since February. It was really fun to do. I just have not had time to do another page like this, but I really do like how it turned out. So what I did for this page is I wrote down all of the highlights from that month, which wasn't that much. Um, I turned 30 and I drank a lot of coffee. So I did a little coffee collage over here. I purchased my Quirky Writer keyboard, which I love. I unfortunately had vertigo for like the last two weeks of January. It was terrible. I created a collage of all the shows that I binge watched in January. I wrote down that it was the new year. I reached 2,000 subscribers on YouTube in January, which I'm so happy to say that I'm getting pretty close to 5,000 now. So that's really exciting. And then I put some pictures of my kids and me and my husband and stuff like that. So this is February. This is just the divider page that comes with the planner. And this is my February calendar. Again, there is a digital plan with me video on this spread and I'll link to that in the video description. Um, I believe I used stickers from Print Petticoat Bandit again, but I didn't use that many stickers. I think I just used the number stickers and then this sticker down here and the rest of it um, is stuff that I found on Google. I found that on Google. And then this is a sticker from my shop and um, yeah, that's it. So I tried to do this uh, just in February and I might have done it in March as well. I can't remember. We'll see here in a minute. Um, but I wanted to keep everything relative to February within February. So I created a daily page for the first three days since those fell in the middle of the week. And I kind of have this rule, like this unspoken rule where I, uh, go with whatever month has the most amount of days in a week. So if a new month falls in the middle of a week and the new month has three days and the previous month has four days, then I put that month in the spread that has the most days. I hope that makes sense. So if February would have had four days and January would have had three days, this spread would have gone into February. So since February only had three days since I do a Monday start, that's why that spread is not in February. And I just did this daily page and they were just filled with pictures and TV shows that I watched that day. And this was the last daily page that I did. 
And then here is my first weekly spread for February. Again, I can't remember where these stickers are from, but there will be links to the shops in the video description. It's just a bunch of pictures and TV shows. I watched a lot of TV shows the first two months of 2019 because I was suffering from vertigo so bad for weeks and I just couldn't really do as much as I normally do. So I watched a lot of TV while I laid in bed with vertigo. So it was kind of fun to watch all those shows, but it was also miserable at the same time because I like to stay busy and I like to work and I hated that I wasn't able to work as much during that time. So here's the second week of February, and again, I just tracked all of the movies and the TV shows I was watching. I loved the show Devious Maids, by the way. I highly recommend it. If you like Desperate Housewives, you will love Devious Maids. It's on Hulu. Totally recommend it. Um, I actually miss it. It went off the air, so there's only like four seasons, but um, it's one of those shows I was so sad when it ended. So this was when I was binge watching Devious Maids and then I put some pictures of my kids. I obviously didn't take a lot of pictures throughout this week. Um, this was a big week for me because it was my son's first night to spend the night away from home. He's four and I just, I don't know, I just always wanted him to be home with me and I finally just had to let that go and I let him spend the night with my parents for the first time and they were so happy, he was so happy. He's now spent the night with them several times since then, but that just started in February. So I put a picture of him that I took right when I dropped him off at their house. So this is the third week of February, and again, I was still binge watching Devious Maids. Um, my husband and I watched some movies that week. I started the show Unreal that week, which I never finished, but it was good, I just never finished it. I need to go back and finish it. Um, our basement flooded, that was kind of a crazy week. And then here is the final week of February. It wasn't an eventful week again, so I just kept track of the things that we watched and put a bunch of pictures of my kids. You'll see again, just a week after his first spend the night party or whatever at my parents' house, he spent another weekend at my parents' house. So that was a lot of fun for him. And then my husband and I just had some one-on-one -on -one time with Ella and that was fun. That's something that you don't get to do a lot when you have multiple kids. So here was my February interview page and it was again just a collage that I created. I got some stickers from an app called PixArt. I do get a lot of questions about that app. Um, it's one word. A lot of people tell me they search for it in the app store and they can't find it, but it's because they're searching like for two words, I think, but it's one word. Uh, P-I-C-S-A-R-T. That's all you have to search for and it'll pop up. It's this free app and you can get all kinds of really cute free stickers from that app. So that's where I got these Frappuccino stickers. I drew these hearts over here and um, the Polaroid and this little image right here are stamps um, from I believe Positively Present. I'll link to those stamps in the video description. And so I just wrote down the major events from February, and this was also the month that I released two fonts, which I had a lot of fun creating. I'll link to those in the video description as well. Um, my iPhone 10 broke this month, and it's actually just now getting fixed. It's July, and it's just now getting fixed. That's a long story that I could spend way too long talking about, but it's finally getting fixed, and I'm really happy about it. Um, I had to switch back to my iPhone 8, and then my iPhone 8 broke. <laughs> my son broke it. So, uh, now I'm on an iPhone 6. So, I've just backtracked with phones this year. Um, but my 10 is getting fixed, and I'm really excited about that. And also, my husband and I celebrated our 10th Valentine's Day together that year. So, I wrote 10 Valentine's worth of pandas because every year since we've been together, he has gotten me a panda-related gift for Valentine's Day. Okay, so now we're into March, and I didn't do that uh, daily spread like I had tried to do in February, so I just dove right in to the calendar. 
this was the month that I lost my grandfather. So this was a really rough month. I actually went into this month feeling really productive. I was finally feeling better. My vertigo was better. And then my grandfather passed away on the 11th and it just was a really rough time. So this week, I loved filling out this week. I had a lot of fun filling out this first week of March. Um, it was before, you know, I lost my grandfather and everything. Um, and I was just still feeling really inspired at this point. I incorporated all of the pictures that I took that week. Not all of them, but you know, I take pictures every day pretty much and then I pick my favorite one. So that's what I did. And I just, you know, tracked what I was working on. And then this was the week that I lost my grandfather. And this is where I started falling really behind with digital planning because I just wasn't feeling inspired. I actually felt really weird creating a spread for the week that I lost him, but at the same time, this is my favorite hobby, and I know that he wouldn't have wanted me to give that up. So I eventually did come back and I uh, created this layout, and I just dedicated that whole day right here, the day that he passed away. I just made that all about him and then tracked everything else that happened that week and I did still remember to take some pictures throughout that week which I was thankful for um, and I actually worked in my office a little bit that week with getting it set up. Um, if you follow me on my Facebook group I don't even think I put a picture on Instagram. My office is really starting to come together finally. It's been a work in progress for like months but it's like so close to being done. I just have to hang a few more pictures as soon as they come in and then it's done and I'm really excited about it. So this was a page that I created for my grandfather who passed away. I wrote something about him on Facebook. My grandfather was insanely advanced with technology for an 88 year old. He was 88 when he passed away. He would have been 89 the next month, but he had been on Facebook for years. He was the person that taught me about computers and everything. And so, you know, after he passed away and it was out there, you know, our family knew and everything, I did a little tribute for him on Facebook, which I have since printed out for my grandmother. Um, but I wanted to put it in my digital planner as well. So when I have this printed at the end of the year, my kids can go back and read this because I just want them to know how amazing their great grandfather was. So this was a picture of him from a few years ago when he was still just in tip top shape, perfect health. And this is how I like to think of him. And yeah, so I just wanted to create this for him and for my kids. So this was the last full week of March, I believe. Um, nope, there was one more. There was one more full week. So this is the next to the last week of March. And again, I can't remember where these stickers are from, but I will link to all the shops in the video description. I took a ton of pictures this week. I didn't have a lot to write about. I wasn't feeling productive like I was saying, so I didn't really work on many things. Um, I did a few things here and there, but mostly I just hung out with my kids and took pictures. So I'm glad that I have all of these pictures from that week. Uh, this was the night on Friday we had a family dinner for Pop um, because a bunch of family came in town for his funeral and his funeral was the next day. And then that Sunday he was cremated and so we, just the family, the immediate family, the grandkids, his daughters, and my grandmother um, laid him to rest, just us, on Sunday afternoon. And then my kids and my husband and I headed to the beach that afternoon. Um, that trip had been planned for months and I felt really weird going, but um, I was glad that we did. It was a trip with my mother-in-law and we were all, you know, really looking forward to it. So we did still go on that trip. We put it off by a day and then we ended up leaving that afternoon and got there at like 11 o'clock at night. But you know, it was nice after all of that to get away and just kind of have some distraction for a little bit. So this is just a daily spread that I put together and I wrote about a funny thing that happened to us on the way to the beach that night with my husband and a June bug. And I put that we headed out at 2.15 and arrived at 10.30. So I was wrong when I said 11, we arrived at 10.30. This was our week at the beach. I did not put pictures on this spread because I took so many pictures that week. So you'll see in a minute, I created a daily spread 
for each day. But what I did for this layout, which I love these stickers. I wish I remembered where they're from, um, but I will find the shop again and link to it in the video description. I just tracked when we went to the beach and then I wrote down what we had for dinner because this trip was all about just relaxing on the beach and then eating. Um, the food was so good. My mother-in-law is a great cook. So a lot of this was stuff that she actually just made for us. One night my husband and I did go out to eat because we were in Perdido Key, which is right next to Orange Beach, and our favorite restaurant in Orange Beach is Cosmos. So we had to go there just once. They have these sushi rolls, they're BLT rolls. I actually hate sushi, y'all, like I hate it so much. But these BLT rolls, while they're technically sushi, are like a BLT sandwich in the form of sushi. So they have the soy wrapper and they've got little pieces of fried green tomato and little bacon bits and then lettuce and rice all rolled in to sushi and then they're like drizzled with this Cajun mayonnaise stuff. I don't know, they're so good, they are so good. So I had to get some of those and then that Saturday we headed home. So this was our first day at the beach and I took tons of pictures of the kids that day. So I did a little collage of Ella cause she looks so cute in her little cat swimsuit. And then here are um, pictures of us actually on the beach. Not, uh, I'm not in any of these pictures. These are just my kids and my husband. I don't take a lot of pictures of myself. I say that and then here's pictures of myself. But this was Tuesday. That morning I just hung out, tried to comfort Ella cause she was teething the whole week that we were gone. Maddox was enjoying some cheesecake and then here are our beach pictures from that day and I didn't realize until way later I'm not gonna remake the collage I'm not worried about it um, but I didn't realize that my husband's head was cut off in that picture until way later but now it's just funny so it is what it is Wednesday this was our third day I just did a collage of all the pictures that I took that morning so I've got some pictures with my younger two kids here and then this is Maddox and Ella in the room and then this was us at the beach. Thursday was another fun beach day. So this half of my collage is just pictures on the beach. And then this half, or not half, this section um, contains pictures from when we were going out to dinner. I didn't get any of myself other than this one. Ella threw a fit when we were in the car, but I got a few cute ones of her and her dad, and then a few cute pictures of Ella at the restaurant, and then I've got a couple cute pictures of the boys, and then my sunburn leg. I got physically sick from how sunburned that I was. That doesn't even make sense. That's not even a sentence. I got physically sick from that sunburn. It was terrible. I actually broke out into a rash a few days later. I forgot what the rash was called, but it's where like your blood vessels actually kind of like they burst. I want to say it starts with a P. I'll put it on the screen because I'm going to look it up and I'll find it again and I'll put it on the screen. But anyway, it was a, the worst sunburn I've ever had. Okay, so I didn't do a daily page for Friday and that was because we actually just went out on the beach to take family pictures that day. So I just put a page for each child. This was the page with all three of the kids and then each child has a page as well. Ella hates the sand so these pictures did not go very well at all for her. Um, you can see how upset she was. So this was all three of the kids and then here is Sonny's picture and I put that he's a master poser because he just is amazing at posing for pictures. Like you can say Sonny I'm gonna take a picture and he just pops a pose right out like just it's amazing. Um, yeah, he's really funny. So this is Maddox, and this is my four-year-old. He's super goofy, and these are the pictures that I got of him. And then this is my daughter, Ella. She just was not happy, so we'll just skip over those. This was March 30th. This is all about the drive home. We had quite the drive home. Um, my daughter hates the car. My son gets car sick. It took us a very long time to get home, so I just kind of wrote, a little funny story about a moment where my son got car sick and my daughter was screaming and um, we had stopped at a place called Durban Farms in Clanton I believe it's in Clanton so that's like about halfway for us and uh, yeah we were there for like an hour and a half so that was March now we're going into April here is my spread for April there's a monthly plan with me video for this layout as well and I'll link to that in the video description I can't remember 
where these stickers are from, but there will be links, like I said, to all the shops. So this was a really busy month. This was the first week of April and I used a layout that is available in my shop but doesn't come with this planner. I worked in my office, I visited with my grandmother and just hung out with my kids a lot this week. So I had tons of pictures to put in for this week. Oh yeah, and then here's a picture of my eyeball because a bug flew into my eye and died and that was terrible. <laughs> um, it was like, I was freaking out. Uh, for like 30 minutes I was freaking out and I finally got it out of my eye. So this is the second week of April. I'm actually not using a sticker kit for this at all. These are all elements that I created in Procreate. I use the text tool in Procreate for this. I use the text tool for my numbers. And then these headers are actually the headers that were included with the functional sticker kit for my April Patreon people. So that's where those are from. And then I just color match those with the rest of my layout. And I took tons of pictures again that week, so many. Um, my son got his haircut that week. Like that was the biggest haircut he's ever received. And so I took pictures of that. Um, I got tons of pictures of Ella and Maddox. And yeah, that was a really good week. So this third week of April was kind of a crazy week. I uh, had been referred to a neurologist. I don't really like to talk about my health too much, guys, but I had been referred to a neurologist because I had an MRI that showed a few white spots or something like that. And um, anyway, they referred me to a neurologist because the white spots they'd seen, they're like normal in older people, but um, I'm only 30. And anyway, it turns out that they're likely related to either when I had postpartum preeclampsia or postpartum hypertension. Both of those issues have resolved. I do have high blood pressure now, but I take medication for it and it stays very controlled with medication. Um, but they think it's from when my blood pressure got alarmingly high in a very short amount of time during the postpartum period after I had my son and after I had my daughter, um, likely after I had my daughter. But anyway, I'm fine. I'm going to be fine, but I just don't want to get into that too much now. But anyway, that was my first neurologist appointment and he ordered all these tests and everything. So I had a bunch of like appointments this week. I did like how this layout turned out. I loved all the pink and gold and everything like that. And then I incorporated the pictures that I took and then the TV shows that we were watching and stuff. This was the last full week of April and this was my first time using a horizontal layout for memory planning. And I actually really loved how it turned out. This is something that I really wanna come back to and do again because it was just a lot of fun. It was really easy to fill in these boxes. For some reason, my mind, I feel like, works in vertical format where I'm just so much better at putting things down rather than across, but I do love this spread, so this is something that I'm gonna try again. So now we're in May. This was my monthly calendar for May. I do not have a digital plan with me video for May or June. Um, I picked back up on those in July, but I did mess up this spread. <laughs> um, I accidentally put that there was 30 days in May, but there's actually 31. So after I had already saved everything and merged everything, I couldn't come back from that. So I just drew a line through the 24th and then also made that the 31st. And um, I do love all the colors in this spread and everything. And then this will be one of the shops that's linked in the video description down below. So this is the first week of May. This spread is from my Life is Beautiful Memory Keeper. I do have that available in my Etsy shop. I do not yet have the walkthrough edited yet, so it's not on my YouTube channel yet, but it'll get there, um, I promise. I'm just having the hardest time making time to edit videos, and I'm so sorry about that, but the longer videos, it just takes me a long time to get those edited, so just bear with me. But this is a really fun planner. It's made specifically for people that like to do memory keeping. And I find myself using these layouts in my Truly Yours planner all the time. So if you already have one of my planners and you eventually want to get into memory keeping, I do recommend the Life is Beautiful Memory Keeper because it comes with stickers, it comes with layouts, and they're a lot of fun. I don't want to sound like I'm just trying to sell you guys more stuff. I just 
I only design planners that I love. I wouldn't design something and sell something that I wasn't crazy about. So I've been using these layouts a lot. This is one of my favorites because it has this area over here where you can track several different things. And then there's an area for your favorite photo. And I loved all of the colors throughout this spread as well. So this is the second week of May. Um, this is another layout from the Life is Beautiful Memory Keeper. And I, again, took tons of pictures this week. I tracked our TV shows. We were watching the show Barry all this week. I highly recommend that show. It comes on HBO. It has Bill Hader in it. And it's honestly one of my favorite shows ever. Like, I can't wait for season three. I had started straying away from using stickers around this time. So everything that you see here are actually Procreate stamps and I will link to these stamps in the video description. So this is the third week of May. This is another layout from the Life is Beautiful Memory Keeper that I'm using in the Truly Yours Planner. There's an area on this layout where you can write down your top five moments of the week, and then these boxes, they're divided into three separate boxes. So we were actually out of town this week. This was the week we were at the beach. So I created a box, or not created a box, the boxes were already there, but I made the top box an area where I could write about um, whether we were at the beach or at the pool, and I wrote about our road trip. We left on a Monday, and then the second box was for food, because I'm all about some food at the beach. We ate Cosmos, let's see, four of the seven days that we were there, and then um, the bottom box, I saved four pictures, and I just put the best picture of each day in that box. Even though I put pictures up here as well, um, I made sure to put pictures down here too. So this was just a little daily layout that I did to remind myself to pack these things in the morning. To be completely honest with you, I could not sleep that night, and I just thought this would be cute in my digital planner, but I also did refer to this the next morning when I had to pack some things that I couldn't pack the night before. This was a little page about our drive down and just a little story about our drive down. And then these are all the pictures that I took that week. I took over 200 pictures. So instead of making a page for each day, I just didn't want to go back and go through all these pictures. I just created this massive collage, and I think it looks pretty cool. I was going to write over it, but then I didn't want to cover any of these pictures. So, I think when I have this printed, this will look really nice. And, you know, it's just fun to see how many memories you can make in a week. So, this would be the last full week of May, and I had a lot of fun with this spread as well. So, this was the day that we left the beach. And then um, this is us just trying to adjust to being home. So we got home and immediately my stepson came back from his mom's house. And two days later was his very last day of school. So I got a picture of him on his last day of school. And we started potty training that week. My son was a little late for potty training. I don't want to go into that. But we were working with his doctor. It's just a long story why he's so late for potty training. So just... Please don't judge me, but if you do, whatever. Um, but he is potty trained now. It only took a couple days. He was finally ready. Uh, so we worked on that this week, and I just incorporated a bunch of pictures and got really creative with my lettering and all of that stuff. I believe these stickers are from Illusion of Organization. Um, yes, they definitely are. They 100% are. I love these stickers, and that is going to be one of the shops that's linked in the video description. We are also watching the show Chernobyl that week, and that is a really good TV show. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a limited series. It came on HBO as well. Okay, so this week um, I was using my Brilliant Floral Sticker Kit, which that is available in my Etsy shop, and I really love the colors in that kit. So I used those throughout the week and my son stayed with my parents a couple days that week and then I incorporated a bunch of pictures. Here is my son playing with his cousin. That is my first cousin's son. So they're, I don't know what that would make them. Feel free to comment with whatever that would make them. But um, they're, they're definitely cousins. I just don't know like if it's like second cousins or what what it would be third cousins I don't know but they had a lot of fun together that day and um I got some pictures of Ella and 
Ella had her 18-month checkup that week, and my dad came to visit us, so that was a fun week. Now, here's June. We're finally in the last month for this video. So, this is my June layout, and I just left this bare because, to be completely honest with you, I fell so far behind in my memory keeper that by the time I filled this in, it was already like the very end of June. And I just let this sit and procreate for a while after I got all these dates filled in. I know it's weird. Like I just said, I filled this in at the end of June, but you'll see where I marked off some rescheduled and canceled things. I just like to remember that <laughs> uh, I reschedule things because um, I reschedule things quite a bit because it really just depends on if I have help with the kids or not. So I just like to track what's rescheduled and stuff. And I thought I was going to come through here with more stickers, but then I just decided not to. And I just decided to leave it like this. And I think it looks good. This house is super cute. This is by Sapphire Design Shop. But I'm definitely going to link to this listing in the video description. My house is not pink. This is my house, by the way. My house isn't actually pink. I actually changed the color of this sticker in Procreate. I would love it if my house was pink. It's really, like, just stone. And, um gray and brown and stuff but I changed the color to pink to match my spread but she draws the cutest illustrations of your house all you have to do is send her a picture or you can send her your address and she'll look it up so she can see what your house looks like and they're just super cute so I'll link to that listing in the video description this is the first full week of June Again, I love how this layout turned out. I love the colors in this layout. I actually filmed a video on this layout and I will link to that in the video description. I have a video that's all about memory planning and this is the layout that I create in that video. Um, so this was the week that my son and my stepson had swimming lessons. So that took up a lot of our week and then I just tracked all the shows that I was watching once again. And then I did this page for swimming lessons and this just says day one. So I wrote about day one and I had every intention to go back and write about the last day as well. But then I didn't. And I don't know if I'm going to. They had a lot of fun at swimming lessons and their teachers were so great. But my son is really stubborn. So we did get him past his fear of water. But he has a lot of work. He has a lot of work to do before he's actually swimming. So I think next year I'm going to enroll him for two weeks instead of one week. Um, but we're definitely going back to the same instruct instructors. I'm getting tongue-tied. Because they were so great. And then my stepson, I love him so much. But we're a family of klutzes, like every single one of us. It's not just him. It's me. It's his dad. It is his siblings. Like, we are all just clumsy. And so... He had this this issue where the instructor would tell him, you know, it looks like you're trying to run in a pool. I've never seen somebody try to run in a pool before. And sure enough, it did look like he was just trying to run in a pool. So he tried to work on that all week. But I just think both of them need swimming lessons for um, two weeks next year. So uh, next year, I'm going to put them in there for two weeks for sure. Because these instructors, they're so good, but they're in high demand. And they only teach for two weeks in the entire summer and you have to like claim your spot months ahead of time and so definitely gonna schedule them for that for next year okay so this was the middle of june this layout i actually shared this on instagram and it did really well on instagram and i have no idea why that surprised me so much i wanted to just stick to one color because i was so far behind with memory keeping that I really just wanted to do something easy. So all I did for this spread, I used some stickers from a shop called Hard Peach, just the daily stickers. That's the only stickers that I used. Um, so those daily stickers are from there. Everything else is just from Procreate. So these are some washi tape stamps, which I can link to in the video description. And then the rest of this is just stuff that I drew. Like I drew these shapes and then just used washi tape stamps over the top and wrote about what happened that week and then incorporated pictures that week. I just wanted everything to look like it had been taped down. So I used those washi tape stamps. So this is the next to the last week of June. Again, I went with pink. Pink is my favorite color in the entire world. And it's so hard for me to not use pink every week. Like I always wanna use pink. So this week again, I actually have a video that I filmed of this week as well 
but it's not out yet. I'm in the process of editing it, so I don't know when you're watching this video, but it may or may not be on my channel by now. But this week was a lot of fun. I created all of this in Procreate, just using features that Procreate has. So some of this is text for sure. Um, the only things that I did not create these little pieces of paper right here, but I got those for free off of freepick.com, and I just wanted to use things that you could get for free or that you could create yourself in Procreate, so that's what I did. Other than the fonts, the fonts are paid fonts, but everything else you can either create or whatever for free in Procreate. So this is the last week of June. Um, I even put down here last week of June 2019, and I had a lot of fun with this spread. I stuck with pink again. This is actually an ombre effect. I know there are a lot of pictures and things written here, but um, these are all tints of this shade right here. So I just started with the lighter color and then worked my way up to the darker color. And then I used those same shades throughout the top for my daily stickers. And then instead of putting number stickers, I typed the full um, date. So that says 24, 25, blah, blah, blah. You get it. So again, this week I didn't take as many pictures as I wish I would have because like this day right here, I didn't have any pictures other than that one. And, um, same for this day. Like that was my husband's birthday and I didn't take a single picture of him that day because it was such a crazy day. The only thing I took a picture of was my bullet journal and that's terrible. It makes me feel like a really bad wife. So my son spent a few nights with my parents that week um he's really enjoyed going over there this summer they have a big fun yard to play in and they just love having him and i got some work done that week my iphone 8 broke that week <laughs> and uh the kids and i played outside it was a lot of fun so that is it that was my january through june i know this video is probably really long and i know that i talked a lot but um, I just have so much fun with my memory keeper. I get a lot of questions about it. So I thought I would share literally everything in the memory keeper. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to check out the video description for links to my shop and all of the shops that I've purchased from this year. There's a lot of cool, a lot of affordable shops down there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital plan with me videos and digital planning tutorials. You can check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's all kinds of planner-related freebies. And check out my Patreon page, which is like an exclusive digital planning club. There will be more information about that in the video description. I'll see you guys in the next video.